Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I've got you another interesting DAX challenge. Now, if you know around here, we do these DAX or Power Query challenges quite often. It has been a while since I did the last challenge. It's time to fire up your gray cells. Let's start. All right, I'm in Power BI. Let me just introduce you to the data and the data model, and let's just then take a look at the problem. It's not too difficult. I'm sure you'll be able to solve it. So in terms of the data model, we have a sales table and every single row of the sales table is nothing but one single transaction or one single order. The granularity is one order per row of the sales table. Now, the sales table is actually connected to the products table, pretty standard one-to-many relationship using the product ID or the product key and the dates are linked with the calendar date table. Nothing too complicated. In the sales table, I also have a column which is where I have the amount of the transaction or the order. And I'm just summing that particular amount column to create a calculation, which is nothing but total sales. So this is nothing but a sum of a column in the sales table. Nothing too complicated, pretty straightforward. Now I have displayed my total sales against the year and the month, which you can see it on the screen. And I'd like to be able to calculate growth. Now, the way that you generally calculate growth is maybe growth over last month, growth over last year, last quarter. But here I'm trying to calculate growth in a slightly different manner. So that was a client uh, client's need and let's just try to you know solve this particular problem. So let me help you understand. Pick up this number, which is the number for November. It's 543, 99 and three. Now I'd like to be able to find the growth over the last quarter's end month. So if you take a look at the last quarter, the last quarter ended in September and that's the number that I would want to compare it with. So this number, which is, uh, uh, 543,000 approximately needs to be compared with 473,000 and then I need to be able to find the growth. So every uh, sale value of a particular month needs to be compared to the end month of the last quarter and then you should be able to find the growth. So if 543 is compared to 473, we have definitely grown and that's a 14.8% growth rate. Take a pick up any other number. Let's just say that we pick up the month of Feb and if I'm trying to compare the month of Feb, the last quarter ended in December of the last year. And I'd like to compare the value of 550,000 uh, to 755,000, which is the number for the last year. And we have definitely degrown or kind of not really grown by 27%. So that's how the growth has to be compared. A particular number of any uh, month needs to be compared to the uh, last quarter end month value. And then you, you should actually compare the value and find out the growth percentage. All right, just a few rules before we end this. Number one is that feel free to use DAX or a creative mix of DAX and data modeling to be able to solve this problem. And of course, do not forget to post your answers in the comment section of the blog. If your solution happens to be slightly more technical, slightly more complicated, also do not forget to paste the link or to download your Power BI file so that everybody can take a look at your solution and learn from those things as well. The file that I'm gonna give you will contain the data, will also contain the sample output in terms of just a picture. So you have to take a look at the picture, validate your results, and then come up with the answers on your own. A big shout out, just the way that we always do it, uh, is going to be to all the people who post the correct answer. Creative answers are more than welcome. Um, and that's all about the challenge. If you have any questions around this, feel free to post them down in the comment below, and I'll be glad to reply. Thanks so much for watching this. Fire up your gray cells, and I'll see you with the answers next week. Bye.